are launching with effect from this week, the Trevor Book Club. Um, it's, we're going to create a WhatsApp group. Um, we're going to share a link on social media, even under this video, for you to click and join the WhatsApp group for the book club. We're going to be sharing books that we are reading. We're going to be discussing books that we're reading, and we're hoping that this platform is going to grow um, into something um, even bigger. Um, to start off with, uh, I'm currently reading this amazing book. It's uh, a book written by um, uh, um, London School of Economics uh, professor who is Chinese, K.U. Jin. She's Chinese, um, she, but she understands the West in a big way. She's been lecturing at Oxford and, and Cambridge. She's worked in uh, in New York. It's the first book I've written by, I've read rather by, written by Chinese about China, and it has helped me understand what China is all about, rather than we, reading Western newspaper, uh, rather reading books written by Western journalists and Western authors. The New China Playbook Beyond Socialism and Capitalism um, is an essential read uh, if you want to understand China from a Chinese perspective. What books have you read that you'd want to share with our viewers out there, book-loving viewers? Book loving viewers. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I have my top three books off of the top yeah. of my head. Obviously, the Bible. Um, lessons that there's no problem underneath the sun that you can't find a solution for in the Bible. Second book was one that my mom has given me since I was about 14 um, by Richard Clarkson, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. And it's entitled Don't Sweat the Small Stuff and It's All Small Stuff. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I used That's to be... A book, the good one? It's, yeah. a, it's a good one. I used to be a, a bit of a firecracker when I was a little kid. So my mom always used to try to calm, calm me down. down. And she was like, don't sweat the small stuff. The third book that I'm writing is my own cookbook. Mm. Um, I'm gonna. This has been a two-year journey. Honestly, it's been ups and downs with um, trying to figure out how to write a book and getting the right people proofreading. And it's taken me two years to, and I'm still figuring it out. That's why I decided to do the documentary before. Mm -hmm. So I'm writing my first cookbook. And so far, I've accumulated about 300 recipes. So each year, when I fail not to produce the cookbook, the positive thing is that I end up having about a, a couple of more recipes to add onto the to the cookbook. So hopefully next year, 2025, I'll finally release the cookbook. When We're I looking forward to yeah. that. We're looking forward to that. 